Okay, good day guys, good day to you all. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Thanks for being here. So I want to talk a little bit about, you know, the Demari Gray interview and, and what he said, right? And I'm sure many of you would have seen that interview by now, right? Um, I must say disappointed, yes, but honestly, I'm not surprised. Honestly, honest to God, guys, I'm not surprised that Demari Gray is seemingly still, still waiting for that England call-up, right? You know, honestly, I can't blame Demari Gray for still thinking about England. Honestly, I, I cannot blame Demari Gray for for thinking about England, you know? When I when I realized that, you know, we had a bit of a problem on our hands, is when I was watching English Premier League games. I was watching English Premier League games and the commentators were saying that Southgate needed to take a look at this guy. Honestly, that is when I started saying to myself yo we're in serious problems there there's a huge possibility right a huge possibility that we might not get this guy it's not surprising given the form that he has been in honestly it's not i mean when you look at at his performances i've seen some of the everton games this season right a couple of them will and every time i see everton play this guy is just really, really, really playing well. And every time he plays, the commentators, right, are speaking about his performances, right? It's not just the goals are the goal contributions. It's the performances as well, right? I mean, when you really look at it, even, even in games that he does not score, Right, he plays so very well, right, and 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 that is the problem. And I, I, when I started, you know, when I was seeing the performances, and I started hearing the commentators during the the, the match, the match commentators, you know, hailing this player and saying Southgate needs to take a look at him. I started wondering to myself, when would we see this U turn? Honestly. I started saying to myself, you know, when are we going to see this U-turn? Because honestly, at that point in time, I started having serious doubts as to whether this player was going to come on board. And then there's the whole other issue of, was it a bluff? Right? Was it a bluff? Was it a bluff to get the attention of the England national coach? Was it a bluff? One of the things that I noticed in the interview was when he said, hopefully I get to work with them sometime soon. You know, in referring to his former youth coach, Garrett Southgate, right? By the way, look at the picture. Look at the picture. They look like the, the, like the best of friends, man, the picture on your screen. But anyway, when he said that, one of the things that stood out to me was that the interviewer didn't bring it up. The interviewer wasn't the one who said, oh, you know, would you like to play for England? Demari Gray was the one that brought it up. All the interviewer did, you know, was ask him about the coach, you know. That's all he asked him about the coach, Garrett Southgate, right? Demari Gray was the one that brought up the fact that, you know, Basically, hopefully, I get to work with them sometime soon, right? Gray was the one that brought it up, not the interviewer. And I think that speaks leaps and bounds. And that's one of the reasons why I'm asking myself, was he just bluffing or was he serious when we, you know, we got news from credible sources that the player is working on his passport? Honestly, I think that you know, when he, when the whole thing went, and we spoke on this as well, when he, you know, started following the JFF and unfollowed the England national team, 
I honestly thought that it was a result of the racism. Right? Because it was a it was a little bit surprising to me because I'm saying to myself, this is a player every time you hear him in an interview. His absolute dream is to represent the three kittens. His absolute dream. Right? I mean, I don't even think this player even wanted to contemplate representing Jamaica. I don't think he even wanted to think about it just when you hear him talk about the England national team in interviews. Right? So it kind of came as a bit of a surprise and then I kind of remember the whole racism incident and it was like a little bit before that the incident took place. And I started saying to myself, you know, like the, the racism incident kind of came up in my mind and I'm saying to myself, could it be that, you know, the player like many black players, right, was really, really turned off by the whole incident involving Rashford, Sancho and who it was Saka, right? Could it be that the player was turned off by that whole incident and say, you know what, I don't want to represent a country, you know, with these sort of supporters. So initially I thought it was that to myself because when you think it was what? In the summer, it was before the season started that he, he followed on, on uh, um, the JFF and on followed England and then it was a case where we started her hearing rumours before we heard the credible sources, you know, say that the player, you know, was looking about his Jamaican documents. But what I think is that he did not expect this. In my humble opinion, I think he did not expect that to start the season this well. Right? And he has started the season for Everton and he has been balling for Everton. And I think that, I think the player starts to realize that, hey, some other, some other guns not firing, you know? Right? And we know some of the players right now normally in the England setup. You know, especially some of the wingers and the forwards, so to speak, you know, that really have not, I mean, for various reasons, you know, the Sanchos and, and, and who else? Other players as well, Sterling as well. Although, you know, Sterling's farm for England is still going well. But the moral of the story is there are doubts around certain players. Rashford just came back, you know, Calvert, Lewin out, etc., etc. even though he's a striker. But some of the attackers, they have been, you know, not firing some of the English attackers, right? So when you combine the fact of his form and, you know, the misfiring guns in England's forward line, right, when they are playing for club anyways, you know, it's, it's reasonable to think that the player would start to harbour thoughts, right? Now, honestly, I really and truly don't want to see him, you know, go to play for England, Right, I would love to see him come and play for Jamaica. But we just have to be realistic. The player's dream is to play for England. And honestly, man, given the form that he's in, I don't blame him for thinking he can make that team, to be honest with you. Right? I don't blame him for thinking that he can make that team. The main issue that I have, though, right? My, can't, my heart can't cope with the back and forth team. See, like, I, I, that's the main issue that I'm having. I just can't manage the back and forth thing, right? Right? It's like, it almost feels sometimes as if these players, like a Gray or an, a, 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 a Tony, for instance, it almost feels sometimes as if they're playing with us or toying with us, so to speak, right? And, you know, I don't mean, I mean, I really, I mean, I really like that. And then also there's the whole element sometimes of I do believe that they are trying to use Jamaica as a prop to receive attention, right? I honestly don't think it was the case in this scenario, though, because, as I said, the form came after, right, the whole, you know, starting to sort out documents, right? But honestly, man, again, I'm a little bit disappointed. I was getting very excited about the introduction of this player into the national team. He is such a very, like, Honestly, I think he is permanent class. I don't think it's a flash in the pan. Right? I think this player is permanent class. When you look at his touch, right, his first touch, right, his touch when he is dribbling with the ball, 
right? The close touch control of the football, right? The speed at which he runs with the ball. He runs with the ball at a very, very fast pace, right? Very good, very good, right? In, in tight spaces, right? Skillful, excellent dribbling, right? Good finishing. I mean, technically, technically, he's a very sound player when you look at his game, you know. Technically, he is a very sound player. So honestly, I am disappointed that we're not getting this player. But man, the, the, the farm couldn't come after him, sort out the documents and did get a one game, man. Honestly, man. Honestly. You know, it, it kind of is like another one slipped through the grass, so our grass, so to speak. Right? But honestly, some people still have hopes, though, of this player, you know, eventually. You know, I've heard the sentiments from Reggae Boys fans. But I'll tell you guys this much. If this player keeps up this current form that he's in, honestly, I do not see this player. I don't see this player representing Jamaica anytime soon. Because even if England don't call him up, he will always, always, always be knowing the, the, the form that he's in and the type of player that he, he is at the moment. If he keeps it up, he will always have hopes that he's good enough to make the England team. So even if England don't call him up, I still think I, I don't hold up much hope for this player. If we do eventually see this player, it will be a long, 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 long time from now. Right, late in his career, like a Mikel Antonio, right? Honestly, because I think this player will continue to believe. I mean, if he was, if he believed he had a realistic shot of making the England team before, imagine now when he's actually playing really, 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 really good, right? So, honestly, I even if we do get this player, even if we do get this player, guys, even if we do get this player, right. I don't think it, you know, it will be the, the closer to the end of his career, so to speak, like late twenties, right? If we, even if we do see this player, right? I wish them all agree all the best though. It still hurts, right? Still hurts. Disappointed, disappointed. But when we heard that interview, I think it's clear. I don't think we'll see this player for now, honestly. But guys, that's my two cents. Take care, you know, stay safe, guys, and until next time.